Like Bobby Kennedy, John Stewart is using his voice to speak out against division and intolerance. In Bobby's own words, you know, by the way, don't, don't look around. This is actually just a cheap ploy. We have somebody who's going to imitate John Stewart to come out. We actually were going to have him come, uh, but he's under the weather. Okay, he's drunk. But this, this guy that imitates John Stewart, seriously, the best John Stewart imitator you've ever seen in your life. But anyway, in Bobby Kennedy's words, and John's been talking about this, what is dangerous about extremists is not that they're extreme. It's that they're intolerant. Because of John Stewart's words this past year, extremists on all sides are being exposed for what they are. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a man who's making more gentle the life of this world, all while following puppets who make prank phone calls. Ladies and gentlemen, John Stewart. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe and Mika. They're very kind of them. That is very kind of them. Thank you. What I do is so often compared to Robert Kennedy. I'm sorry, George Kennedy. I apologize. Uh, I, am, I am truly honored to be here tonight in, in Chelsea Pierce's famed rectangle room. That's uh, what a great shape to communicate. Just want to make sure that the audience in my peripheral. I guess Chelsea Pierce's parallelogram was not available. Um, when I heard they were having a, a, a dinner to honor those uh, who had endured unspeakable suffering, I thought, oh great, another Democratic Party fundraiser. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a tough election. Uh, you, lose, you lose a little bit, it's a little, a little rough. Don't count the Democrats out. They, uh, Barack Obama has overcome uh, a tremendous amount of his, his life. He was elected president, uh, a black man with the name Barack Obama. In, in America, in America, Barack Hussein Obama was elected president. Barack, a first name uh, evoking of a, a Jewish prayer, Baruch. Hussein, a middle name evoking uh, the name of a, a tyrant in Iraq that we went to war with. Uh, Obama, uh, evoking a rhyme to the name of one of our greatest uh, enemies. It is truly a triumph of his spirit to overcome that. It, it would have been like in the 40s, Franklin Delano Roosevelt uh, losing an election to Gadolf Schittler. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's a remarkable thing what he has he's accomplished. <clears throat> I'll let that spread around the rectangle uh, as we go through. Tonight is about achieving things through these unspeakable uh, uh, difficulties, and that is, that is what the world is. It's about not the circumstance that you are dealt, but how you deal with it. Uh, so many people in our, in our world, uh, the Pope, Cardinal Ratzinger of Germany, grew up in war-torn Germany, was in the Hitler Youth. Now he's the Pope. I think that's remarkable. Mainly for what it says about the spirit to overcome, because I have found, typically, uh, Hitler youth is a real resume killer. <laughs> but there are people, obviously, tonight uh, that, that I am uh, incredibly moved to be in the same room with who have endured uh, so much, and I certainly am not uh, placing myself in, in, in that category in any way, although, to be fair uh, to me, the traffic on the West Side Highway tonight was, <laughs> was not a breeze. Uh, and because I have AT&T, obviously I dropped three calls on my way down here. So, <laughs> am I comparing my suffering? No, I'm just saying, I feel you. But this is truly an event where we see the great mosaic 
of our country and our world together, white, black, uh, Jewish, uh, Muslim, to, to Jews and blacks. To get that, there's two groups. I'm a Jew, obviously, not serious. I don't wear the protective religious headgear. The, um, <laughs> Jews and blacks, where did that conflict come from? When did the Jewish community and the black community begin to fight? Jews and blacks, we come from the same history, 2,000 years of persecution. We've just expressed our sufferings differently as people. Blacks develop the blues. Jews complain, we just never thought of putting it to music. It's very similar. <laughs> We are one. <laughs> My grandmother actually wrote a blues song uh, <laughs> years ago called, uh, I believe the name of it was, uh, Gee, It's Drafty in Here. <laughs> Perhaps you heard the, the B-side, Now It's Too Hot. She, <laughs> she was very difficult. Uh, but I, again, I, I'm, I'm truly honored to be here. Uh, my friend, Mr. Clooney, is, is, is being honored, and, and hopefully this is some small cold comfort for losing out the uh, sexiest person. It, um, <laughs> the remarkable thing uh, uh, about it is that, not that you've won it twice, my friend, is that you haven't won it 20 times. <laughs> But uh, Ryan Reynolds, obviously, this year. And that is, I think that, to me, is the inspirational thing about The Sexiest Man Alive. It's the peaceful transfer of power. That's... <laughs> a lot of countries couldn't handle that, but they do. And you've, you've done yourself proud, my friend. And I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be here tonight uh, to help support uh, whatever it is that you do. <laughs>